under the scorching Nairobi sun, men break their backs. They coil, piece together, laying the foundation of what would become an element of national pride. The same spirit was behind the construction of the Kenya-Uganda Railway between 1896 and 1905. The labor-intensive work by the Indian settlers in British East Africa led to emergence of trading centers, now major cities, Nairobi included. Over a century down the line, history repeats itself. This time, a modern, upbeat and a 21st century fast rail, the SGR, or the Standard Gauge Railway. It was launched in May 2017 at an auspicious event in Kenya's coastal city of Mombasa. It is a very historic and proud moment, not just for me, but for every single Kenyan as we begin to see our journey of transformation and change taking root. This railway is not just for us. It is for the many, many generations that will come long after we are gone. And the foundation that we lay today that will help lead us in to an industrialization chapter as we move to develop special economic zones along this railway line. The project is undertaken by China's largest highway investor, China Communications Construction Company, CCCC, in collaboration with CRBC, China Road and Bridge Corporation. CCC is also reputed as China's leading international engineering contractor. China has a huge market. We have the mature technic and uh, capitals. Africa has a huge market, have the rich resources of human beings and the natural resources. So if we join hands together, there's a great potential and a bright future for our relations and the cooperation. <laughs> this is the first phase constituting 609 kilometers of the 1,300 kilometers long railway, meant to connect Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, and South Sudan. We are negotiating with the Ugandan government about building a railway linking Uganda to the railway between Nairobi and Kisumu. I think in the future, our Chinese government will surely step up our efforts, enhancing the connectivity between the east and the west coast of every country. It will also bring to close proximity the port of Mombasa to landlocked countries like Uganda, Rwanda and South Sudan. This could also boost the East African community trade relations. The project has also offered a platform for job creation among Kenyans. During the construction, the project employed 19,000 locals. This was a short-term solution to the unemployment crisis in this East African nation, rated as one with the highest unemployment rates in the region. This is according to a World Bank report of 2017. United Nations Development Program UNDP's Human Development Index shows that out of every 10 Kenyans, four are jobless. <laughs> Doreen Karura is among the fortunate ones. Actually, I looked uh, for, for greener pastures and I was looking at the future of SGR. So I knew uh, SGR with him is going to have a brighter future, it's going to have better placement and I'm going to grow with it. So I'm enjoying it because I love traveling as I said before. Um, it's a new experience every day because you meet different people in the train and you get to grow with them. And then uh, the sceneries are beautiful. So it's, it's basically every day is a new day. And every day brings a new thing, a new experience, like a new thrill. Tuna fry here 
We are really happy that this railway has been constructed and it means a lot for us as youth because we are getting employment. We also have a chance to improve our economy through trading in exports and also traffic will reduce on our roads. The fares for one-way travel are 30 US dollars for first class and 7 US dollars for economy class. The latter is half the price spent traveling by bus. In the meantime, the SGR is still acknowledged as a faster means of transport compared to traveling by bus. With the remaining phase of the project underway, travelers are looking forward to better days of easy transport within Eastern Africa.